Hello everyone, my name is Elijah on site and um, also the um, For Your Eternity video got copyright claimed and taken down. So I can't upload that, so I'm just going to leave the original video link to it, to CJ the Champ's channel. Also I'm going to be reacting to CJ the Champ, the most disrespectful moments in anime, Yujiro Hama special. Oh boy, I know all about this man. Because this dude here is a pure demon for real. Okay, let's go. Boy, that ass was good. <laughs> man literally picked up this big ass nigga with one hand and threw him across the floor. And just knocked him into the wall. So Baki's like, all right, bro, enough is enough, nigga. So he comes running in just to get that signature back in. Literally spazzed his whole body out. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history too. Now you see, this one is gonna be a little different. So usually we would have multiple characters from multiple animes in the video. But today, we're gonna be focusing on one character. Now I know some of y'all are probably wondering, CJ, why are you only focusing on one character in this vid? Well, uh, how do I put this? The man that we are about to talk about might damn well be the most disrespectful man in anime history. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Yujiro Hanma is a mother. Be that in mind you, Yujiro Hanma has no powers. Keep that in mind. Like Air Force. Like dog, this nigga's on demon timing 24-7. From slapping bitches to beating the fuck out of his own son. Nigga out here fighting a polar bear for fun. Like this man's nickname is the strongest creature on earth. Peep how they said creature instead of human. And I mean, bro, they ain't capital. Look at this nigga! This man got 0.01% body fat. A jawline gifted from Jesus himself. His back is a literal second torso. <laughs> You got a six pack on your back, nigga. Yeah, I understand why they call him creature now. Like, if you get compared to Bigfoot's fat ass, you you use literally just I don't know, nigga. You just built different on oh, some freaky ass shit. Oh, but I can hear some of y'all already typing in the comment section right now. Hey, hey, yo, CJ, why that nigga not at the round table yet, cuz? Listen, 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 listen. I know Yujiro has been the most requested person to be in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Besides, like, guts. Well, you want to know why it took me so long to do this? Because, you see, this man has done so much heinous ass shit that I cannot give him a regular trial. Like, deadass, I would run out of exhibits. Bet he would. So I was like, all right, bruh. I'm just gonna have to give him a whole most disrespectful moments in anime history episode to himself. Cause this is the only way I could do it because it's gonna be a lot, bruh. Like, I'm probably not even gonna be able to add everything on here. So anything I leave off, just tell me and I'ma just put them in other parts. So everybody sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, lace up your black ones, and uh, let's get started. So to understand the philosophy of Yujiro Hanma's disrespectful ways, we have to go all the way back. So far back, the main character ain't even born yet. I'm talking about 1973 in the Vietnam War. This man was fighting in a whole ass war with his bare hands at the age of 16. Nigga, this is like the equivalent of running around in war zone with your bare fists and just beating the shit out of everybody. Like this motherfucker took guerrilla warfare to a whole nother level on some pure ass Rambo type shit. So while he's in Vietnam, he meets this girl named Jane and she out here trying to throw that ass back she tried to seduce the hell out of this man she like you want to get laid nigga oh you scared or maybe you still haven't experienced a woman yet and look at this man he like uh bitch shut the fuck up <laughs> then he just turns around and walks away bruh man it's like i'm not about this bullshit today but she still keep on running her mouth and talking shit so the moment she turned around this man yujiro came right behind her back and said shall i tear your skull out right here homie was dead ass about to peel the skin off of this bitch and look at her she like Damn, this nigga got two fingers in my mouth. Then this man just pimp slaps her like 20 yards, gave her a whole lecture, then walked out into the sunset. But nah, you thought this man was done in Vietnam? Nah, he was just getting started. This man goes on to kill a whole ass general on some Cobra Ops type shit. And to disguise himself so he could enter the base, he ripped off the general's face and used it as a mask. So then this- Be there in mind you, he rips off someone's face twice within the time um, each time he was in anime, like, um, he ripped off at least two people's faces. And he was wild, just beating the shit out of him, killing every single person in his path, busting through ceilings and shit. So then, 
Jane pops back up and she's like, listen, nigga, I got some TNT and I'm about to blow this bitch sky high. So while they're escaping, Yujiro stops. She's like, what the fuck, nigga, why you stop? And he just stands there and just eats the entire explosion. Then he pimp slaps old girl again and he figures out that she's a whole ass UN agent named Diane that's leading him into a whole trap. So she tried to kill him, but obviously, uh, that ain't gonna work, honey. So how did he make her pay for this? Uh, well, he gave her that redo of the healer treatment. <laughs> So after he gives not, her the not not him taking up <laughs> Jesus Yujiro Googlies, this man uses her as a body shield, then just kills everybody outside and breaks this nigga's neck with one hand. So all girl holds this man up at gunpoint, trying to kill him again. Then this man flashed the whole demon back at her and just look at her face, bruh. Just in pure shock. She like, damn. I'm really about to have that nigga's kid. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how Jack Honda was born. Oh, but guess what? That was just the first son. Shit, we gotta go over how the main character was born. <clears throat> Meet Emmy, Baki's crazy ass, weird ass mom. Like, for all, I ain't gonna count this bitch is weird as hell. But ladies and gentlemen, she always wasn't a crazy ass bitch. No, no, you see, back in the day, she was in a very happy relationship with a rich nigga. She was enjoying her life on a honeymoon. So then that night, they go to a party, right? And guess who's there? Yujiro, staring her ass down while she with her mans at a party and look at her bro she is mesmerized it's like he's dicking her down with just his eyes so then the husband just sees her just straight up staring at him and then he just slaps her ass god damn in front of the party nigga so then this man confronts yujiro and he's talking mad shit niggas like your fashion sense ass your cut ass your shoes ass your demeanor ass then he just throws a whole plate of soup on my nigga so yujiro's like oh you want to get disrespectful all right i could get real disrespectful real quick so he just leans in and kisses his wife. So homie gets mad and he's like, alright bro, I'ma let this dude handle you. But we all know th this nigga ain't gonna do shit. So Yujiro just gives him the nastiest axe kick and just drills his face into the ground. Just completely one shot at homie. Embarrassing old dude even more and giving his wife the old giddy giddies. So then this man goes back to his hotel all mad and shit because he got made to look How does she get turned on by the fact that this man just legitimately possibly murdered somebody right in front of her eyes? This is crazy. The whole ass beta male in front of his wife. So then he trying to take out his anger on his wife and shit. But this man Yujiro pulls up in the hotel room. Just out of nowhere. Man is like, hey girl, I came to see you. In homeboy's room. So then dude runs over to the phone all scared and shit. Like, hey yo security, where the fuck y'all niggas at? Somebody come help me. And well, uh, security. They gone. Oh. Oh, oh. Them niggas knocked the fuck out. So old dude pulls a gun on him, but we all know what happens when you try to pull a gun on this nigga. He grabs him with one hand and breaks his neck while still flirting at the same time. And look at her. She liked that. Oh, she a freak. So then he like, listen, girl, let me give you this sweet masochist. Talk real quick. I want to break your back so goddamn hard right now. Shit, I might even break your back so goddamn hard. It might even kill you one day. Oh, Give yeah. birth to my child so I can have a worthy opponent in the future. And yeah, uh, that's how Baki was born. So when Yujiro first makes his first appearance in the anime, this man is jumping out of a whole ass helicopter and just blasts himself into a room, not giving a fuck about property damage at all. So it comes in when Baki was fighting Hanayama. And look at him, bro, with a whole smile on his face. He's like, what's good, nigga? Homie deadass said, good, I made it in time. Looks like you just got started. Y'all niggas only got scratches right now. And the fight is already over. But this man Yujiro's like, nigga, if I don't see blood, the shit didn't even start. Then he just straight up tells Baki, nigga, you saw. And he's just laughing his ass off. So then Hanayama's like, all right, bro, I'll fight you. But my, my You should have never said that. You should have just kept your mouth shut and kept fighting Baki. Hell no. Plus, you still hurt too? No. Nigga, you shouldn't have said that shit. Because, boy, that ass was getting <laughs> Man literally picked up this big ass nigga with one hand and threw him across the floor and just knocks him into the wall. So Baki's like, all right, bro, enough is enough, nigga. So he comes running in just to get that signature back in. Literally spazzed his whole body out. So before he leaves, he picks up Hanayama again and he's like, let me get in one last lick. Then he punches his whole face in to finish the job that he already finished. And he's like, this was a waste of time. Y'all niggas are sorry, I'm leaving. <laughs> God, yo, this man is actually built different. So then he goes to see Emmy's crazy ass. <laughs> she just starts trying to beat him, but he ain't even moving, bro. <laughs> 
Then he just pushes her down and he's like, bitch, I told you to raise my son to be strong as hell. That nigga weak as fuck. So then she tried to shake him, but he was like, cut that shit out. Yo, this man is like completely ruined her mind. Like he must have blasted her brains out of something. So after all that goes down, Baki's like, all right, bro, I gotta fight my dad at this point. So the night before the fight, Emmy's like, shit, let me go see what that nigga Ujiro doing real quick. So she's watching this man train in the hotel room, right? So she's like, mm, let me touch up on that nigga. Then he just grabs her whole on, face dog. and just pushes her back. Look at this nigga. He's like, bitch, the fuck? Don't approach me until I tell you to approach me. You better hope to God Baki can fight me tomorrow or else your ass is grass to me. So she's like, I'll stay tonight. And he said, nah, bitch, get the fuck out. <laughs> Bro, look at her. This nigga Yujiro has absolutely broken her mind at this point. This shit just starts beating up on Baki like, why won't he love me? Oh my God. I told y'all this bitch was weird. She out here beating up her own son. That is, that is what happens when the D game is too damn strong. <laughs> her husband won't love her. Shit, Damn, my boy Baki got the most Sorry, fucked up family I've ever seen. Shit, I don't know who's more dysfunctional at this point. The Hanmas, the Mishimas, or the Skywalkers. So then Baki and Yujiro finally fight, but... Dear God, bro, this was the All worst right, no, asshole I've probably ever seen. This man was literally eating every single punch he threw at him. Not even moving a muscle. And while he's just standing there, he's literally complimenting everybody for thank you for raising him like this, guys. Y'all actually made him kind of strong. So then this nigga's like, all right, bro, it's time to eat. So he just starts wailing on him. He knocked him out and started beating his face into the ground over and over and over, constantly just beating the hell out of him. And everybody's just watching this like, God damn, that's that nigga own son. So then the mom's like, all right, I've been being weird as f the whole time. This nigga's beating the f out of my son. So then she started trying to swing on Yujiro, but dear God, baby girl. So she started biting him and shit. So then Yujiro gives her a whole bear hug and uh -oh. he's like, remember when I told you that one day I might break your back so goddamn hard it might even kill you? Today's the day, bitch. <laughs> This man literally killed his wife and beat the hell out of his son in one night. And after that, he's like, y'all niggas want to have fun too? He just starts beating the hell out of him and he's watching it. But after he killed his wife and dead ass just beat the fuck out of his son, Yujiro just goes around just doing his daily life, doing his daily activities, just disrespecting people. Homie went up into a boxing gym, started throwing shit around, literally slapping this man's punches away. Throws his ass down and just beats everybody up at the gym. Busted up into the prime minister's office, literally beat the brakes off of his entire security force. And while he was doing this, he took a break and smoked a cigarette. Like, look at them, bro. They surrounded him with riot shields and everything and couldn't do Freak shit. Nigga just hit the dash. Breaks both of their arms. Busts into his office and he's like, hey, nigga, your security is ass. And also, fuck your <laughs> Fuck your desk. <laughs> On to the next arc, and my guy Baki's like, bro, I gotta get revenge for this dude killing my mom. So when Yujiro's confront Jack, he's like, hey, nigga, you kind of strong. Now fight me, nigga. But then Baki comes in and he intervenes. So then Yujiro's like, nigga, if you don't get the fuck up on that here, boy, I ain't got time for your soft ass connections, nigga. And also on the same arc, he fights Dopo, reveals his 1% oh, body oh, fat man. demon back, and beats the living piss out of him, also taking the nigga's eye and knocked him out standing up. So after all that goes down. Oh yeah, he had a little audio problem. Fight Muhammad Ali. It shows him flicking his son across the planet. Worst part is Muhammad Ali Jr. is so ass. I swear, but they did him so dirty. Like they but at the same time he was simping after um Baki's woman though, so I kinda do feel sorry for him, but I don't. <laughs> Like, bro, he sent that little nigga flying. Then he busts up in Baki's house and he's like, hey, nigga, I see you about to do hey, it with yo, your girl and shit. Okay. And when you first see this and you're like, oh my God, this is the ultimate cock block. This man is literally standing over them while him and his girl are about to get it on. And he is dead ass encouraging them to do this shit. He's like, yes, Baki, blow, blow her, her back, back out. out. Blow her back out like I did your mother. It'll make you stronger than ever. And I'm just watching that shit like, did this nigga just really encourage his son to beat the fuck out of her cheeks? Because it'll make him stronger? What? The hell? hell, I might do that one day with my son, man. Better, <laughs> you know, let me stop. Hell. Then Baki's like, bro, why are you in here, nigga? And yo, this man dead ass says this. You're pretty funny, you know that, kid? A girl sneaks into your room, comes on to you, and you tremble with fear. That's your idea of closing the deal. I'll never be a granddad. Yo, this man just took a shot at every single harem protagonist. So then this man's like, I give you my blessing, then just leaves. So then Take your videos offline. So then we cut to this fight with Mothman Yannick. 
Now, Multibay has won the fight. He cut off old poison dude's hand and's like, hey, nigga, that's a wrap. Concede. Nigga, you lost. So then just out of the blue, this nigga Yujiro just comes out of nowhere. He's like, hey, nigga, what's cracking? So this man pulls his sword on him like he gonna do something. But then this man Yujiro does the most demoralizing thing I have ever seen in an anime. He started laughing, grabbed his sword, and started breaking it into pieces one by one slowly. With his thumb. With his thumb. Look at this nigga's face. This is just the face of a uh, nigga. I'm fucked. That, that just drains all of your confidence. That is like the biggest you ain't shit thing that you could ever do to somebody. So then this man Yujiro pulls up on Yanagi and he's like, hey nigga. You lost. So then Shibukawa pulls up and he's like, hey bro, what the fuck are y'all doing out here? It's late as hell. Then Yujiro's like, shit, nigga, you right. I'm tired. I'm going home. But not at the Beat the fuck out your stupid ass. Yo, he just blasted Damn. his face. Homie knocked the fuck out and just tooted up. Nigga, dead ass say, you didn't lose. So that meant you were up for my challenge. Man literally had to get in one lick before he left. So then we get to the right tie tournament. <sighs> and Lord have mercy. Ooh, I'm gonna have to censor this part so hard. This man ripped off. This nigga's face. Damn. He literally dug his fingers into his fing face and flung that shit and just straight up busted his face. Then he threw his face into the crowd. Oh my god, that's fucking disgusting. But after that, homie comes for round two, but nigga, why would you come for round two against this nigga? And then you drew this glass and kick it to his face. Jeez. Finally, to I guess finish the job. I mean, the job was already finished, but shit. He had to finish it again. So then he sees Baki backstage and he's like, Dad, I think I can take you now. <laughs> this man, Yujiro, was looking at him like, Really, nigga? Just throws him through the wall. Man was like, You ain't shit and you still ain't shit. <laughs> so then he fights the old OG for the last fight. And I ain't gonna lie, old OG was landing some punches. But then nigga, Yujiro. I remember this dude. He, he earns my respect because he actually did try to square up with Yujiro and actually knocked him down. I'll give him some respect for that, but yeah, but you would still want to lose, homie. And I not care that he was beating the fuck out of a senior citizen. Because goddamn, he was whooping that ass. I mean, even though that the senior citizen dropped him. Homie pulled out that demon back, and it there he it was a wrap. Made the motherfucker kick the bucket in the middle of the fight. Somehow that man came back to life. I don't know if they got the Dragon Balls or some shit, but... Jesus. That's one lucky ass OG, I'll tell you that. Well, uh... Guess all the evidence just goes ahead and uh, just proves it that uh, my man Yujiro has finally entered the round table of Black Air Force activity. Like, I think it might be safe to say that this man might be the most disrespectful man in anime history. I mean, he don't care if you man or woman, child or senior citizen. He beating the shit out of your ass. His hands are dead ass ready to eat for everyone. So yes, he is finally in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Ugh, yo, this video damn near took forever to make. So yeah, uh, that's the most disrespectful moments in anime history too, the Yujiro Hanma special. This man is a certified walking black air force. So yeah, uh, that's it, and uh, I'm out this hoe. Alright, see y'all later, man. Until tonight.